Okay, so this is the big hole where the conger eels have been living. What we need to do is get some scent in there and hopefully that should draw the congers out. Well, if they're not already out hunting. Come on, big fella. Come and show yourself. Here it comes. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. I never even saw him. Come on there, big fella. Oh, you can see their attitude is totally different. At night time, snapping away. Whoa. Actually, I want to be quite careful because I don't want to get snapped by those jaws. They are actually a completely... Ow! Completely different animal at night time. They're at their peak, most active time. They really, all they're thinking about is hunting. An active conger snapping at my bubbles, clearly mistaking them for small fish and proving their eyesight isn't that good but surely it couldn't get any better. I can just see this big, dark shape lurking in the darkness. Look at the size of this. It's huge. Here it comes. That's just madness. Any conger of this monstrous size must be a female. much as big as you'll see in British waters. This is quite typical of most of their hunting behaviour. They'll stay in a hole like this, waiting for prey to swim close by and then snatch out at it, using the strong jaws and small but very sharp teeth. They're the classic ambush predator. Come on. Size of its mouth! This is absolutely incredible! It just sucked that in. It actually created a vacuum in the back of its throat, opening the mouth really wide. It can drag small fish towards the throat. They really are quite, quite scary, spooky looking animals. Oh wow! Kind of primeval, almost dinosaur-like. Well, you've got to say that the conger eel is one of the most impressive creatures in British oceans. And for that reason, conger eels are definitely on the deadly 60. You are magnificent!